You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new medium platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. AfterBuzz TV presents Chatting with Kathy. Sit-down interviews with Hollywood's leading actors, artists, and entrepreneurs. And now, your host of Chatting with Kathy, Kathy Kelly. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another interview of Chatting with Kathy right here on AfterBuzz TV. I'm Kathy Kelly, and I'm so excited to have Sadie Calvano here in studio today. Thanks for coming in. Oh, yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> So you are on Moms. I want to talk Mom. Sorry, <laughs> all about that. Uh, love the show. Thank you. Um, you're absolutely hilarious, but you tackle oh. a lot of really important issues. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I want to talk all about that. But what we do on this show is we take it back to the very beginning. I want to know how you got your start? I know we were just talking about <laughs> you actually grew up in California. Yeah. You're one of the few. Yes, born and raised. <laughs> so what was family life like growing up? Yeah, I like to think that I lived a pretty normal life. Uh, I started off doing gymnastics as a competitive gymnast and then transferred into doing musical theater. Mm -hmm. When I was about 13, I fell into doing film, convinced my mom to let me do it for a summer. Mm -hmm. And she thought that I would sit in audition rooms with a million other girls that look just like me and have to waste my summer and not get to go to summer camp. And typically at the beginning, it's a lot of auditions and not a lot of work. Yeah. And I ended up booking, like, one of my first auditions and really? worked all summer. And I was like, I got my own trailer <laughs> and I could have any kind of food I wanted. And I was like, this is the life. That's awesome. And a couple years later, here we are. Yeah. I know um, I noticed you went to Stage Door Manor, yeah. which is not your typical summer camp. <laughs> so you still get did get to do summer camp. Yes, I did. I went last summer. It's wonderful. So was that your first summer there? No, it okay. wasn't. This will be my fifth summer. Wow. Yeah. And a lot of big name talents have come out of there. Natalie yeah. Portman, John Cryer, yeah, who's John also, Cryer is also working, Yeah, he works right across the from us. Yeah, so. a ton of other people. So what um, made you originally want to go there? How did you find it? My mom, yeah. who's not an actor by any means, <laughs> um, went to the summer camp when it was just getting started, okay. back when it was only a couple kids. Yeah. And I'd grown up hearing stories about it, mm -hmm. so I wanted to go for a summer, and once I was there one session, I was hooked. Yeah. It seems like such a cool place. It's a super special place. Yeah. If you ever get the opportunity, I urge people to go. It's <laughs> going to change your life. It's wonderful. Are there kids, um, peers of yours, who you went to camp with who are also doing things now? Um... Yes and no. A lot of them really focus on musical theater, yeah. so they're really in conservatories right now. Or a couple of them have been working on Broadway, yeah. and then afterwards a lot of the alum ends up coming over to do film. Yeah, well, it's in upstate New York, right? Yeah, okay. in the Catskills. So a little bit of a trek <laughs> to Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You said your parents aren't involved in the industry, so what no. do they do? No, my mom owns her own company. Okay. It's so complicated. She's like, <laughs> like, uh, basically, she creates these test equipment systems. Yeah. She's really on the sales side of it. So my mom's a CEO, and my dad is a project manager at Cal State Channel Islands. Cool. Um, I know education is actually really important for you. You were yeah. looking at colleges recently. Yes, just sent in all my applications. <laughs> fingers crossed. I'll cross my fingers for you Thank too. you. <laughs> so where are you at with that process? You, you determined which schools you want to apply to. Yeah, I just sent in my applications and we should know probably by March. Okay. Yeah. Do you know so, what you want to study at all? I think so. I think I want to create my own major probably based around women's studies. Okay. Um, so nothing year. to do with acting? No, no, okay. no, no. I want to do something really different, I think. I love acting and mm -hmm. I love theater and it's my whole life right now. And I feel like it's really important to stretch my mind in a different way and get educated on what's going on in the world. That way you can use it in your art. Yeah. But, yeah, I want to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, we've talked about this. You got involved in acting at a very young age. Yeah. There are a lot of kids who, um, you know, that was their dream, kind of becoming an actor when they yeah. grew up. But when did that dream kind of 
become a reality that you wanted to pursue? Yeah, I think once I got started, it all kind of happened so fast. I'm just now starting to wrap my head around it. Yeah. I'll catch myself talking about the show, and I like can't believe the stuff coming <laughs> out of my mouth sometimes. But I auditioned for Mom when I was 15. Yeah. So not that long after I started working professionally, and it's been a whirlwind. Yeah. Did you have um, another career aspiration prior to acting? I don't really think so. I don't think that I thought about yeah. career aspirations really. I, I mean, I was young. Like, yeah. I was a kid. And I like to think that I kind of still am. Like, a lot of people my age <laughs> are still figuring it out. I feel like and, I'm still a kid and I'm yeah. 26, so I completely understand that. And I just kind of fell into it, and now that I'm so in it, I can't even imagine ever doing anything else. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. So you never wanted to be like a doctor or something like that when you're I think I had career of the week for a while okay. and like gymnast. Oh yeah, every other week it was something else. <laughs> and then here we are. Yeah. Um when you auditioned for Mom, um, how involved was Chuck Lorre in the process? Very. He was? Yeah. He still is very hands-on with okay. our show. We're his baby right now. We're his yeah. newest show, and I think it's a project that's really near and dear to his heart. So even with guest cast, he's very hands-on. Yeah. Yeah. And you had had roles prior to this, but what was the audition process like for this sp specific project? Yeah, I auditioned for Mom, I think, a total of six times. Okay. So it was a lot. I was, yeah. I was there quite a lot. <laughs> and it was the most nerve-wracking, stressful couple of hours of my entire life. <laughs> and I don't know that I would wish it upon anyone, but it is so wonderful and definitely has had a payoff. Yeah. So I'm happy I did it. Did they have, at some point in your audition, like, they bring in Anna Ferris and see what yeah, you look like did. against each other? Yeah, they did. They did. Like, my third time, I think, going in, they said, okay, Anna's in the room for you. And I was like, okay. I didn't really know what they were talking about. And I walked <laughs> in, and I saw Anna Ferris just standing right in front of me. And I remember trying to like, not fangirl, stay calm, like, going to play it cool as a cucumber. <laughs> Went in. I was like, hi. And she goes, hi, I'm Anna. And I was like, yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> lost it um but she's so wonderful and has really that's awesome. taken me under her wing i'm so lucky to be working with her was she pregnant at the time then i don't know okay no she had just been a new mom then yeah okay cool yeah she's had jack as long as i've known her okay has she given you any advice specifically as far as acting goes or your career? Yeah, I think that both Anna and Allison have really taught me that regardless of the level that you're at and how many awards you've won and how many years you've been doing it, everyone has to ask for help. Yeah. And that we're in a super collaborative business and to be with people that are ready and willing to help you is a really amazing thing. And such brilliant work can be accomplished when you're not afraid to ask. Yeah. My mom always says, if you don't ask, you don't get. Yeah, so, <laughs> exactly. That is a very good smart lesson. Mom. <laughs> she is very smart. Um, I know that you've actually played a pregnant teen prior oh. to mom. <laughs> um, it was for an ABC Family pilot, right? Yeah, I guess pregnant's just my type. <laughs> <laughs> You're typecast now. <laughs> oh, Lord, I hope not. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, but, I mean, that is kind of a serious issue, and yeah. um, I think mom tackles it so well Thank you. um but how do you draw as an actor for something like that when you don't have that real life experience yeah it's hard because it's not something that i've ever lived through yeah. thankfully yet or <laughs> um so research was really key for me last season mm -hmm. and mom brought in a lot of specialists for me to talk to and I spoke with a lot of nurses and a lot of doctors and a lot of pregnant women and moms. Really? I looked up Lamaze classes and tried to learn as much as I can so that I was ready for the labor scene yeah. so that I could really kind of understand what these women were going through. I talked to my mom a lot and asked her a lot of questions. Yeah. And I think although I've never like been pregnant and given away a child, mm -hmm. there's key elements that I have experienced. Like I felt love and I felt fear and I felt vulnerable. And I think as long as you can bring those truths and understand the situation as much as you can, yeah. your work will be pretty honest. Yeah. And um, the end of season one was very deep um, with giving the baby up for adoption, yeah. but it seemed like that's what your character needed to do to break the cycle. Absolutely. Um, 
what was it like for you when you read that originally? Oh my gosh, I think I just read the script and just started bawling. <laughs> like, it was a hard episode, for sure. Mm -hmm. But so powerful, and what a great story to get to tell the world. I don't think that it's told enough, and I don't think that people are really aware of how serious and apparent this issue is right now. Yeah. And it's so cool because since that episode has aired, I've had so many fans come up to me and say, hey, I just want to let you know, like, I'm adopted and we have adoption in my family or I gave up my baby too. Yeah. And thank you so much for telling my story. And that to me is like the biggest compliment in the world mm -hmm. to know that you're doing these people justice yeah. is so cool. Yeah, there was the uh, first ever World Adoption Day about a month ago. Did yeah. you do anything for it? We, I didn't know about it yeah. until afterwards, which I'm super bummed about, but next year for sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, this season, season two of Mom, you guys started off with just as <laughs> crazy of an episode. Um, you guys were homeless yeah. because of <laughs> gambling addiction. Never um, a dull moment. <laughs> <laughs> so how is that? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Our show is so cool because not many sitcoms can bring in as many dramatic elements yeah. in 30 minutes and handle them with a lighthearted sense of humor. Mm -hmm. So it's so cool to get to talk about these pressing issues and hope that our audience then starts a dialogue and asks questions and gets active in these issues, which is such a cool thing to be a part of. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know you mentioned um, a little bit ago how you've had people approach you. Yeah. What Do you remember the first time someone approached you um, from recognizing you from one of your roles? Yes. I was at the farmer's market with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was buying salad. And, um, someone it's came, very detailed. Yeah, and someone came up to me and said, like, hey, I'm a really big fan of the show. Do you think I can get a photo? Yeah. And it's weird because even still now, I forget that people can see it and that, like, this is real. Yeah. Because it feels like such a dream and such a, a crazy little gift that you forget it touches so many people. Yeah. I mean, this industry really is, even though they're jobs, it's just a lot of fun. Oh, uh, yeah. I get to go up to work and play every day and call that a job. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, so uh, did you have any other, like, um, did you take any other classes other than Stage Door Manor? Absolutely. Okay. I'm still in class right oh, now. You are? Okay. Yeah, I think it's really important to always be exercising your craft, like anything you do. Yeah. If you're not practicing it, tools are going to get rusty. Mm -hmm. So I take class at AMAW, Anthony Mendel's Actors okay. Workshop, right now. Yeah. Cool. And what made you choose that um, that studio? I had a close friend and someone that I really look up to that were there. I had heard a lot of amazing things and. Anthony is brilliant. Mm -hmm. He produces some amazing, amazing actors. So I sat in on one class and I was home. Yeah. And now I've been there for a couple of years. That's awesome. Um, I mean, juggling, acting, going to school, does it ever get cra like too crazy to deal with? It's always crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that's what you sign up for. It's a juggling act. Yeah. And... I try to keep some really amazing and intelligent people around for me. I have a teacher that is amazing and makes sure that all my work is done. Yeah. And, you know, you time manage. Yeah. I think that because it's something that I love and something that I care about, I'm motivated to make it work. Yeah. When you care about what you're doing, you want to find a way to do it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, are you going to a traditional high school right now or are you kind of homeschooled? I'm traditional I no not really no. <laughs> <laughs> like I have a on-set tutor oh, okay that gives me classes Monday through Friday when I'm working and on hiatus weeks weeks that I'm not working I can go and check in at school okay. with like my real teacher my advisor Your real teacher. <laughs> like my, the one that like puts in my yeah. grades you know and I give her all of my work and go over essays and whatever and then at the end of the day, I go home and see her in three more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so have you gotten to have those traditional teenage experiences, like homecomings, proms? I think 
Kind of. I get to go to my friends' homecomings okay. and my friends' proms and stuff like that. Hopefully, I'll get to go to a prom this year. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I guess a step at a time. <laughs> Pick out a dress already. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're more concerned with picking out an Emmy's dress. Oh, it's so crazy to think about, though. It's so wild. Yeah. It's so wild. Um, I mean, going back to the Emmys, Alice and Janie won an Emmy for uh, Mom last year. She's unbelievable. <laughs> she really is. Um, she just got nominated for a Golden Globe, too. I know. Yeah. Go, Allison. She's Seriously. unbelievable. And what a woman. Yeah. And it seems like your cast is really supportive of one another as well. Yeah. So will you be attending any of the award shows this season? Oh, my goodness. I hope so. I don't know if I'm allowed to, but <laughs> <laughs> if I am, of course. That would be really cool. Yeah. Do you have, like, a dream gown picked out for one of those? Oh, I don't know yet. I don't know. Let's focus on getting invited first. <laughs> <laughs> Step after step. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, I know you're a very busy girl with work, school, everything. Um, when you do get free time, what yeah. do you like to do? I love music, so I try to go to music festivals with friends. Okay. Also, I do a lot of yoga. I go, like, every day. I think I would spend my life at the studio if I could. So, I want to get certified after okay. we're done with this season. I want to, really? like, get certified to be a yoga teacher. You have so many things on your bucket list um, of like things you're going to do. <laughs> Go to college, become a yoga instructor. Well, I got to stay busy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hike a lot. Yeah. So, yeah, I hang out with friends. I, you know, try to stay as normal as possible yeah. in a really not normal situation. Yeah. What kind of music do you like? Um, all kinds. I grew up on 60s and 70s rock. Really? So I From the parents to a lot or? of that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not your own doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess now kind of it's evolved into my own music taste, but yeah. I definitely grew up on it. Props to my parents. <laughs> are, are there 60s and 70s rock festivals around LA? Um, well, I try to go to like alternative festivals okay. like FYF and yeah. stuff like that. Cool. Um, so, moving forward, what do you hope to accomplish in both your life and your career? I think next I really want to move into feature film. Okay. And so, I think that's the next big one that yeah. I'm excited to do. You did um, have a smaller role in Jay Edgar. Yeah. Alongside Leonardo DiCaprio, he was your <laughs> uncle. Um, was that intimidating at all? It was so crazy. I was pretty young when I did that. I think mm -hmm. I was like 13. And at the time, I was auditioning to go to an arts high school. Okay. I had my audition like, the, um, so maybe I was a little older than 13. And I had my audition like the next week. Yeah. And I remember being so nervous for that audition. And here I am with like Leonardo DiCaprio and Clint Eastwood. And I'm focused on what my monologue is going to be. And <laughs> I just remember talking to him and telling him how I was so nervous for high school. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure he can relate to. Yeah. Not at all. Like not even <laughs> realizing. <laughs> I feel like sometimes when you're um, almost more nervous about something else, you do a better performance, right? Yeah. Because you're not as, like, worried about that thing. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so actually doing that role, how was it? Yeah, it was wild. What an honor to get to work with those people. Mm -hmm. What legends, you know, yeah. at such a young age. That was so, so, so cool. Do you think that you fully comprehended it at the time no. um, being younger? No way. Not at all? No way. I think I knew it was super exciting yeah. and like I understood that they were these legends but I don't think that I really understood the severity of the situation and really what a big deal that was yeah which might have been a good thing because maybe it got my head on a little tighter I don't know <laughs> but yeah I don't think so <laughs> yeah looking back I'm you're still just starting to kind you're of impressed process with your younger this. self yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, you have worked with a lot of incredibly talented yeah. people. Um, is there anyone else in the industry that you really hope to work with someday? Oh, man. I'm such a big fan of Meryl Streep. That would be such a dream. She she's is the top. <laughs> amazing. Like, everything she touches just turns to gold. She's so wonderful. Yeah. Anyone else? Or she's the She's, she's the probably goal. my top. She's, <laughs> okay. like, best of best. Unbelievable. Yeah. Do you have any roles that you would hope to per pursue or um, I think for do? me, this craft is really about storytelling. Yeah. And as an actor, you're given such an amazing platform to communicate these powerful stories all across the world and hopefully get people talking and get them changing things, you know? And 
so I think when I read a script, I look for the story and amazing writing. So I hope that my next project will just be filled with powerful stories. Okay. Do you gravitate more towards dramas or comedies? Mm, I do it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you want, like, potentially the next move is feature film. Yeah. Okay. I hope so. Cool. Um, and what else? I mean, I know that you had a musical theater background. Would you be interested in doing something like Broadway? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I think, I hope at some point in my career I get to do that. Yeah? Yeah. It's hard because not that many teenagers have opportunities on Broadway. Yeah. You know, like a lot of roles are built for people that are more in their 20s or 30s um, or older. Yeah. So I think it might take a couple years, but if there was the right project in a heartbeat. Yeah. Do you have any aspirations behind the camera at all? Like writing, producing? Yeah, maybe directing. I think I would like to direct. I hope that in college especially I can be taking some film classes. So we'll yeah. see. Is there anyone in Hollywood um, whose career you hope to emulate? That's a tricky question. I think, you know, I hope to have my own career, my own yeah. story, and keep it true to myself. Um, but there's definitely people that I look up to. I mm -hmm. think Angelina Jolie is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it wouldn't be a bad thing to have a career <laughs> like that. Who wouldn't want that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Meryl Streep as well, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, going back to mom, just for a second, since we, I feel like we, like, flew past that, <laughs> um, you are in your second season now. Do you think yeah. that, um, you guys are more in a rhythm, like, going Absolutely. from the second season from the first season? Absolutely. How, how have things gotten easier? I think that as the season, and now season two, have progressed, you know, writers start to find what works, and yeah. mom has kind of started to identify themselves as their own little being, and we've kind of got to create this amazing little family, and as chemistry builds, I'm sure you can see it on camera, mm -hmm. too. Definitely. So, gets better with age. Yeah. And you have some cool guest stars this season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lots in store. <laughs> um, so tell us uh, uh, who's visiting the show. Yeah, Ed Asner comes okay. on. Jamie Presley started yes. earlier this season. We have lots and lots and lots of good ones. Any uh, dream guest stars? Oh, man, that's tricky. Um, I don't know. I feel like working with Anno is a big one for me. Yeah. And... So I'm always so surprised by the people that they bring on. I'm just ready for the ride at this point. Yeah. Um, you guest starred on Melissa and Joey. Yes, you did. Um, any other TV shows that you would want to um, be a guest on? I think I would really like to do something a little bit more gritty, like a Showtime or okay. an HBO next. Um, if So maybe if we could find a little arc to do on that. Like a true detective or something like that? Yeah, or, I don't know, like, when the big C was going, okay. something kind of along those lines yeah. that's a little bit more dramatic and a little bit little bit less sitcom. Okay. Yeah. Um, shifting gears a little bit, I know that you are actively involved in charity, um, yeah. Bags for Kids. Yeah. Uh, so tell me about that. Bags for Kids is such a wonderful organization. I got involved with them when I was 13. And it's run by such an amazing woman. And what this charity does is they fill bags and backpacks with anything from teddy bears and coloring books to shoes and cameras and diaries and give these kids that are getting taken out of unsafe homes and thrown into the foster care system a little bag filled with something that they can call their own. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of these kids leave their homes with really nothing else but the clothes on their back. Sometimes they don't even have shoes on. And so hopefully these bags can help make a really uncomfortable situation a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. But, you know, it's a smaller charity, and so every single person's impact on it is felt hugely. Mm -hmm. And I really urge people to go and get involved because it affects so many people and is such a wonderful, wonderful organization. Yeah. So www.bags4kids.com or .org. You should check it out. It's great. It sounds amazing. Yeah, it's a special, special thing. Um, why do you think that it's important to give back? 
I think that, especially my community, when I think of my teachers and my friends and their parents and really just the community I grew up in, they've given me so much and so much support and enabled me to do so many things that to do something that seriously takes two minutes of your time Mm -hmm. that can change someone's life, you're crazy not to. Yeah. So I think it's incredibly important. Yeah, I think it's so cool that you're yeah. involved with that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I want to know, do you have any uh, advice for young actors who may hope to follow in your footsteps? Oh, wow. Um, I think take things a step at a time, say yes to opportunity, and surround yourself with people that have your best interest in mind. It's a crazy business, mm-hmm. so you do your part at working hard and staying focused and learn your lines, read scripts, get educated, and let other people take care of the rest. You only have control over so much. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten really lucky. Yeah, definitely. And ask people for help. Absolutely. (laughs) Ask for help. (laughs) Um, So some fun questions before we wrap up the interview. Um, Favorite fast food restaurant? Oh, man. (laughs) In-N-Out? Okay, good one. I just had that for lunch. (laughs) Yeah. Um, <laughs> most used emoji? Um, probably the cat with the little heart eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, song you can't stop listening to? Anything by the Velvet Underground. Cool. Um, favorite TV show other than Mom? Ooh, that's a hard one. Uh, girls? Okay. I love Girls. That's a good show. Really I like good. It. Um, also Emmy nominated. Uh, book, you, book you'd put your stamp of approval on? Just Kids by Patti Smith. Okay, I haven't read that one. It's wonderful. You should read it. Good? Okay. And top thing on your bucket list and not career related? Probably getting certified to be a yoga teacher. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, Well, I feel like we learned a lot about you today. We also have a shameless plug section. So if fans want to find you on Instagram, Twitter, social media, plug moms. Sadie Calvano. Um, S-A-D-I-E-C-A-L-V-A-N-O. That's my Instagram and my Twitter. So pretty easy to remember, I think. Okay. Yeah. And then if people want to watch Mom, it's obviously on CBS. Yes, uh, Thursday. Oh, Thursdays. Thursdays. We moved times. I know. It's confusing. (laughs) It's Thursdays, 8.30. Awesome. Well, Right after Big Bang. Yeah. Cool. Um, Do you watch Big Bang at all? Yes, all the time. So funny. So funny. (laughs) I met them a couple days ago. I met the cast. They shoot right across from us. Okay. Their stage is like right here and we're right here. So I got to walk over and meet them and I was freaking out the whole time. (laughs) Hi, how are you? (laughs) Losing it. I feel like if I was on a lot, I would just go eat crafty at like another show, like every single week. Yeah, that crafty is dangerous. (laughs) (laughs) But just to get the experience of the other places. Um, Well, Sadie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. You're so freaking adorable. Oh, thank you. Um, And be sure to watch Mom. You can find me on Twitter at Katherine Kelly. You can find me on Instagram at Kathy Kelly. You can find all of us here on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter at AfterBuzz TV. Make sure to subscribe to us on iTunes. Again, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. And we will see you again next time. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.